The Chinook Golf Course in Swift Current is a popular attraction for local residents and tourists during the summer season. And the city's Recreation and Parks Department is always looking at ways to improve on the overall aesthetics and services of the course. This includes the hiring of Genevar at a cost of over $65,000 for the design and construction services of a new pedestrian bridge at the course. Mayor and Council approved the recommendation following concerns over safety for golf patrons. What's happened in the past is we put in a floating wooden bridge. Now this floating wooden bridge does not accommodate golf carts. So the golf carts or city maintenance equipment, the mowers and whatnot, have to travel around um, around the course to, to access a different bridge. So we lay out a floating bridge, which uh, it, it's worked for years. Um, however, it does get wet, and based on the wind, it gets blown around a little bit, and some people can slip on it. We have had some people slip before and, and hurt their wrists or their ankles. Robson indicates the fee for Genevar is simply for the design stage of the proposed bridge, with the actual structure price yet to be determined. However, Robson intends to have $200,000 proposed for Council's approval in the 2012 budget, based on preliminary investigation into the possible bridge design at this point in time. Now, the bridges that we've looked at are around $230,000. Um, having said that, bridges like, like automobiles and homes and everything else are based on what you want. Um, our, our requirements would be we'd like a bridge that could accommodate not only um, foot traffic, but golf carts as well as lawnmowers and maintenance equipment. Um, there's no use buying something that you wish you would have got a little bit bigger at a different time. As well, this bridge is very sturdy and it will, uh, based on, on the floods that we had this year, we know where our water levels will be and what will happen out there. So we know with this type of bridge we're, we're secure in what we've got. And once the bridge design is finally completed, the paperwork will be presented to Council, at which time a decision will be made on how to proceed with the project. If approved by Mayor and Council, the goal is to have the new bridge installed in time for the 2013 golf season.